-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot to say about getting a small engine if you're starting yeah. off in this hobby. Just get something small. You can lift it into your car, you can lift it back onto the rails, and all those good things. Just little bugs <laughs> bugging me. Anyway, here we are at Shady Pines Railroad once more. And the newest thing here, before I go on vacation or holiday, is where we've got the, what do you call this, trestle or escarpment or whatever coming up. The trestle. The viaduct. The viaduct here. Where duck, where no chicken. And, <laughs> yeah, and there's a little, I'm making a Y here, so it'll be a turn around. And this is going to go up to a, set a switch up there. Well, someone called it a turnaround I was reading about the other day. I hadn't heard that phrase before. Turnaround. That's a Y, actually. But, yeah. uh... No, the actual switch itself. Oh, no. Yeah. It's... Anyway, so it's going to be, there's going to be a turnaround there and a Y. And um, this set of switches here will point. Comes to here. And then we've got the trestle here where John is doing some digging. And... I want to make the rail go through there and over into the corner of the property, which is over beyond that tree. Um, so if you want to load or anything like that. Anyway, it just puts more rail down and more sort of uh, room to run the train. So what we're attempting to do here is to go down, and you can see I've started here. There's a pick there, John. It's easier with that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm attempting to go down here another foot. So we've got some clearance under our lift bridge here. So the train will fit under, and if we're good at doing the limbo, we can get under with it, but we'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> and to do that, of course, I'm gonna do it now, and then later on, I'm gonna put two more posts either side here uh, to strengthen this bulkhead on both sides and pour cement down there. But that'll be in the fall. The moment we're just uh, practicing doing this. And I made up these sections of rail going along here on on the trestle in the last couple of days to get the right curves. And they, they seem to be fitting well. Um, yeah, so that's it for the moment. On with some work. I'm going to shoot. Of course, there's tons of tree roots you have to dig through as well. Oh yeah, that, that's part of the issue. And all this dirt here, this big pile of dirt, I'm carrying in buckets here, in the back of the lawn tractor, in the trailer, right up the top where we're doing the logging trail and making it level there so we can have, uh, extend the railway up there. So that's extended a lot too. So we'll do a little addendum in a minute and I'll show you what's happening up there. goes quicker than you think. This job, you think, oh, I'm never going to do that. And you just start digging a bit and it's done. See if they had us digging the Long Island Railroad extension into Grand Central would be done by now. <laughs> oh, Something that, tells me that. that might be a little bit wider than this. Yes. <laughs> but there might be more people doing it too. It might be. The mass transit dollars at play. Well put. Oh, yeah. hey, that's a big one. We need, a... we need the saw for that. Well, let's see what it is. Let's clear it. Yeah, that's big one. Big. Where the heck's that come from? One of those, possibly. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can't get through that with a. No, no. I'll get the, the axe. Mm -hmm. Saw. The man who can saw, saw, see? See. see. Well, there's a seesaw over there. Let's just get rid of the sea business and we've got a saw. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Okay, you guys spread out.
here next now. Should we go up and look at the top? Of course you want to put a rail here. I don't think it's long enough. You know, no, it's not I've, long enough I've yet. got we to get rid of that. Uh, That's going to be in the way. Yep. Unfortunately. So we've got to get a saw. Yep. Dig out both sides of it. Size all. As it really does. Size all. Actually, that's a fair comment. I've got a saw as yeah. I never thought of using that. Actually, it was a cord that's a cordless one I found in the trash. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it works fine. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I'm that's, to have the right batteries for it. That's, uh, yeah. I've forgotten about that. I always forget about it and I do it by hand. I found that sitting on a, on a garbage can one night when I was walking home in Hastings. Like, hey, tell me, has the batteries for this? Yeah. Right. Okay. Huh. Yeah, let's go take a look up there. Yep. Like an episode of this old house, this old building. Mm. Come, let's see what Norm's doing in the kitchen. <laughs> All I could think of was this old Tony. <laughs> yeah. oh. Great YouTube channel, by the way. This old Tony. Yeah. Workshop videos. Yeah. Makes stuff. I remember the, the other show there with the the guy that was always wearing a overalls. Mm. The new Yankee workshop? That's Norm Abrams. Yeah. I yeah. Thought, I thought it was. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Now, there's another one. Yeah. Wow. Gee. It's Park Street under and Park Street over. What was? <laughs> well, let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah. That's what I kept hitting. Yeah. It's broke. And... Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need the saw. Yep. Let a man who can saw a saw. See? Oh wait a minute, we already did that. Yeah, we did. Alright, alright. Hey porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> porcupine, which way is right? <laughs> <laughs> Caught the other one too. Oh goodness. Huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, anytime I, I hear somebody say they're everywhere, he's everywhere. All I can think of is the uh, the weekend winged warrior. Chicken bone. Well, that came out nice. Well, I cut half through it. Yeah, you already <laughs> broke through it. Yeah. All right, let's see what it helps. Anything else down there? Well, there's these ones, but I think that they're, they're, they're spades sort of size. This is a good idea. Good use of a Ryobi tool. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to treat a fest tool like that. Not that they make anything like that, but you, know. you wouldn't want to treat a Milwaukee like that. Well, this isn't the Milwaukee road. Oh. He's here all week, folks. Try the veal. Hi, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I know Cat watches these. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Another one here. Another one? I have a feeling that you're going to be encountering a lot of them as you get closer to that box elder. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, not that one. The one right behind you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you got a box elder and an oak right next to each other. Yep. And I think you might be dealing with the box elder roots more than the oak right now. Yeah. Not to mention what used to be here before. Oh, the... my gosh. There was apple trees. There was... I took about 20 trees out just here. Yeah. Mm. See, maybe legacy roots. Well, the one you just cut in was live, so. Mm. Yeah. Too wet to be a legacy root. Yep. Q. 
Can you dig it, man? Yeah. Cool. Break it, John, and let's do that. And let's try the level. Well, that's just the end of that one, so. Let's try a rail in here and see what it looks like. Oh, buddy. Yeah. It's getting there. It certainly is. I wonder what the distance is now. Hmm. I would guess. I'm going to let the bridge down. Gosh, you frightened me. Thought it was going by. It's better yeah, if I, I get it. up there. All right. Because it, otherwise it twists. Here we go. All righty. Probably need to point you away a little bit. There we go. Watch your fingers. Yep. See, that's a bit long, this one now. Oh, that's right. It went in nicely. Not exactly. I guess right. it could use some trimming, couldn't it? Yeah, it got, it, uh, Not exactly it's just a bit tight. Mm. It doesn't go up that many times. Along here making a walkway and I've landscaped this here just with some of the sods from down there, which makes it better. And I'll bring that dirt up and continue this. Holds the bank together too. Yeah, all that. And then uh, I've had the train up here, so I know it's all level and, and correct. been busy. So you can see <laughs> that it's the uh, mountain railway continues by using the, the all the thin saplings that I cut down uh, as um, sides and they rest against the stumps that are here. It'll come along here through this stump this tree, the next section, and I'll cut this big old root away, it should be easy digging this, it's all rotten, um, and level it out, and then we start to go around the corner to go down, I want to go drop right down where that big old stump is down there, and uh, then curve around to the left and back where the orange tape goes, but I'm not sure whether I'll need a trestle down there or not, I don't know whether it's going to be too steep, but seeing the other, some of the other grades we've got, we've managed, haven't we Aaron? go up and down grades that people say well you can't do that but the train does it <laughs> you just can't run a very long train that's all that's what you can't do no. yeah. uh, so it's not really a riding fun railway this it's what well, it is fun, fun is the wrong word it's not a railway to take thousands of passengers except right. for around the house that would you could take anyone around that but all these little sort of extensions and and bits and pieces here will just be for us people standing here and a few people with just single trains in a riding car and perhaps a, a, a flat car to get some wood or whatever coming around here. Mm -hmm. And besides the, the turnaround down there, what is a Chinese turnaround you call it, don't you? Chinese switchback, is that the correct switchback. name for it? It's just a switchback. Just a switchback. Um, it's not long enough to have more than either a big engine and one car or the small engine and two cars. Um, Arguably, I could go on at someone else's property beyond it, so I can't really yeah. sneak much. That's the more tail in there. track yeah. behind the behind the switch. Yeah, the tail track. I've 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 
budged about 10 foot of the neighbor's property already, which they don't mind, but I don't want to go much further than that. Mm. <laughs> so as with everything, you're limited to your property uh, boundaries. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's plenty of property here to go around, but it's all on a 45 degree angle. Just like at Aaron's place, actually. Oh, this is flat compared to mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yours is pretty steep, but it's still the same procedure doing it. Yeah, it's yeah, it is. exactly the same. Yep. Um, cut the branches out, cut the trees out. Yeah, and just do this leveling, which is easier Level. than I thought it would be, yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. Just putting the, the, the old logs down. Sure, they'll need replacing at some stage, mm -hmm. but that's fine. There's plenty around. <laughs> it looks good anyway. Yeah. It's pretty steep deep and steady grade. This looks like this is going to be the highest point. This is, well, that's the highest point there, where it is now. So what are you going to call it, high point? Barn View Heights. Right. Barn View Heights? Barn View Heights. Yeah, look how high we are compared to the barn. Hmm. And look how small things look down there in comparison. Yeah. Especially when you look way over back where we just were making the tunnel, which is, you can't even see, but it's way back over there. Yeah. Huh. It's behind the trees. Yeah. Well, not tunnel, but the fly under the bridge. Yes. Well, I suppose you can loosely call it a tunnel. It goes under something, doesn't it? Well, well I suppose. It is a stretch. It could be a though. loose tunnel. <laughs> An underpass? Yeah, underpass. That's better. Anyway, there we go. And it's a beautiful day. certainly is. There's a loading ramp down there. And that I just loaded my last yeah. train on it. Uh, yesterday, which was Friday, was it? Yeah, mm -hmm. to go up to have um, British brakes put on it, screw down brakes, yeah. because it runs the way down the hill. And I'm not an engineer, so it's gone to have banter, banter train works to have that done. Yeah, going to put springs under it too. Yes, do this, redo the redo the suspension, uh, suspension, yeah. and yeah, so. It's not a bad little engine. It's a good engine, yeah. lovely engine. I like, I like it yeah. actually because it's compact and I can lift it. Whereas the other one, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Like three people. yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about small engines. They're oh, easy to take around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot to say about getting a small engine. If you're starting yeah. off in this hobby, just get something small. You can lift it into your car. You can lift it back onto the rails and all those good things. If you get a big yeah. one, you've got to have a proper loading stuff. And I made up one down there which actually works really well. I just adjust the height to my car or to a pickup, which are now like about 10 feet high, the beds of them. Mm -hmm. um, and it just goes straight into it up a ramp and it works well, I've got to say. And it was simple and cheap to do. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. There's, there you go. there's a case for small engines. Yeah. yeah. And Aaron builds them. Yes, the ES2500. So there's a tail track to the switchback and the switch throw right there. Um, Decalville style. It's weighted. And down here into the barn. I don't think I've showed you folks in the barn yet. This is the yard. Yeah, well, I'm the animal since you before. I enjoy just building so, it and then running the train to make sure mm -hmm. that it works okay. So That's Tony, I don't think people have seen the yard yet. The yard? There's not... No, no, well, well we, we should turn the lights on. The engine house. Well, it, it's it's a yard. Yeah, it is. It's a full yard in here. Yeah. Right on. So is that lighting up or do you want these lights on too? Uh, the, the, the camera seems to like the, what it sees right now. So here's a, a, tri, tri, a tri switch here, which was... A three-way switch. A three-way switch, which was the biggest stress getting it to work. Hmm. Because it was all, it was working, well, maybe it wasn't, but we got it all together. Aaron and I and John went to pick it up. and But the, the, this, the um, ties on it was like that. And I didn't want ties here because I wanted to screw it to the floor of the barn. So we took all the ties off and the thing went... <laughs> <It> fell apart. <laughs> all, fell apart. So it took three days to get it right. And quite a few hours after that of tinkering. Mm -hmm. Now it works. Mm -hmm. And so you've got three storage rails here. Um, and then I've got a little slope down to a little turntable. This is not high speed rail. It's not high speed rail. So I've got a slope down to this turntable, and this little turntable spins around here. So you've got one, two, three storage bays for, for trains.
uh, riding car, uh, it's got brakes on it, that one, and uh, caboose that I built are from Titan Trains, I think, and I've got the kit. And these others came from uh, that railroad I bought. Where was that from? Mount, what was it called, that railroad again? It was Richmond Mountain Railroad. That's right. Yes, Richmond, that's, New Hampshire. Yep. So that's where those cars came from. It's, that's where my plow came from. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and the little train I've got. So, yeah, everything yeah. gets stored here. But there's no trains here at the moment. They're all away. No locomotives. Yeah. No locomotives. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to borrow your... Uh, and it works fine. Your, your, I had all these cars because car. I was testing them out. I yep. was towing this one around to see if it had derailed. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Oh, good. I towed this, not this one that needs six. And I towed the hopper car around. It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't come off the rails either. Good, good. Yeah. So that was the last thing I did. So you can take that whenever you want. Yeah. It's, it's got a hook in it. It's got a hook in it or a, a you know, the, the bar. Yeah. Not a, um... oh, it must be the other end. <laughs> Yeah. Now it was this end and it's sitting in this tray somewhere. Right here. Right there. No, not that. That one? That one. Oh, yes. Mm. See in the, in the... Oh, yes. Just fits in there. Or you can put a um, proper plant, uh, one of these in it too. Yeah, I'll do that. Put a coupler on it. Ding, ding. Yeah. But I like the way this uh, ballast car is. These chutes move so you can dump between the rails or on the outsides of the rails. And then it has a lever on the end which uh, opens up this opens gate up here. Yeah. So that opens up the gate and you can have that open or close as much or as little as you want. So you can put as much or a little bit ballast on the rails as you want, as you need. Control the flow. And then the two gates control the, uh, the flow, you know, where, the, where the flow goes. Neat little car. It's probably the, the most impressive car that he built. Yeah. In, in my opinion. That, that and the, uh, the plow. Yeah. And it works fine. I mean, yeah. you know, on the right. Yeah, and, and that little red engine is it, that's impressive too. So in the fall, I'm going to have a lot of trucks to sell because I've got good trucks and I'm replacing them with brake trucks on the cars okay. because of the steepness of the slopes. Some are Tom B. I don't know whether I'll get rid of the Tom B. These are called these ones are what? Those are Tom B. Are they both Tom B? Those are they? No, the other ones, uh, the the black ones are uh, Mountain Car. This one. Yeah. Well, those ones were fine. They're on my um, rain car. If you weight if you weight them down a lot, yeah, those are the ones that that don't like light cars. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So here's the yard at the Shady Pines. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, hit that like button. Share it. Share it with your friends. And uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined, if you want to see more videos. And if you don't want to miss another video, hit the bell notification icon. And uh, that'll make sure you don't miss a, a single video. At least, as long as you don't ignore your notifications. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, coming along on this visit to the Shady Pines Railroad. Have yourself a great day.